this is a very basic explanation of how to use Hypercam. And oddly enough, I'm using Cam Studio to record this video in Hypercam because you can't actually record the recording software unless you use a different piece of software. Uh, but I like Hypercam because there's like you can get it started very quickly and it's very simple. When you open up the software, this is the screen that you see. Your first thing is your screen area. You can choose a window. So I could choose like this window, for example, or if I had my browser open, I could choose that window. You can also select a region. And when you select a region, it just gives you a cursor. You put it in a location and then you drag yourself a square across it. So between these two options, you can very easily and quickly uh, get the area that you want to be recording. Um, I usually don't mess with these I, these too much, but you're welcome to play around with those a little bit. Um, the other thing that I pay attention to is uh, hotkeys. You can set these to start and stop, so you're not actually having to click buttons uh, here on the software. You can set it so if you just click F2, it'll start recording and stop recording, uh, just making it a little bit smoother. That's completely optional. You don't have to use those. AVI file is basically uh, file type and the compression. Uh, I wouldn't mess with this too much uh, out of the box. The, the, the quality is usually pretty decent. Sound, you don't really need to uh, mess with too much. Um, if you have different devices, you can choose them here if they're not uh, automatically being found by the software. Um, but again, you shouldn't have to use these too much. Options though here is something I do like to do. Um, I do like to record the cursor from the screen because oftentimes you're showing people what, uh, where they will be clicking when you're showing them software. And sometimes it's nice to add a starburst, which uh, just has some pixels that sort of come out from it. Just again, highlight where you're actually clicking on. And then you can assign a left click and a right click color. Uh, and you can change the volume of the click. So some of these might be helpful to really hit home uh, what they're doing with mouse clicks. So those are your options. Other than that, it's pretty easy. You just select your region or window, click Start. This will drop down to the bottom of your Windows screen. Uh, usually what I do is when I finish my recording, I give it a few extra seconds, then go back down to the system tray to pull the screen up again and then stop it. Then you can take the footage that you record and put it into something like Windows Movie Maker Live or your favorite video editing software and then just cut off that uh, ending few seconds and the beginning few seconds and do any kind of editing that you want. Uh, but this was just meant to be a very quick and dirty overview of Hypercam. Uh, it's very useful and easy to use and I hope you enjoy using it.